Good evening. This is Apostle Rosalind Solomon, Rosalind Solomon's YouTube channel. I'm not seeing all the other stuff. <laughs> Y'all know the spiel. <laughs> I just came to tell you um, that the f f I kept hearing um, when I was in the bathroom, because God talks to me a lot when I'm in the bathroom. Um, I kept hearing him say, um, terror attack on Televi. Terror attack on Televi. And the only Televi I know is Israel. He also showed me a tunnel in, um, I didn't know if it's Great Britain or England, you know, the UK. He showed me a tunnel where there was going to be some type of terror attack, a tunnel. So I don't know if they have like a tunnel like we have back in Jersey, New York, where you go through the Jersey and you go under the tunnel to get to New York, or it could be a train or some kind of tunnel. So it might be a train, you know terror attack or something like that in Great Britain or England or the UK. Then he told me some type of destruction was coming to Iceland. Something was going to happen in Iceland. And I'm like, Iceland? Mm. Then he showed me fires in Australia. Fires in Australia. Then he told me that they were going to find a, a new group of human beings a new group of indigenous people. And I kept hearing the rainforest. So I don't know if they're going to find them in the rainforest. <laughs> or something different is going to happen with the rainforest. But he said they're going to find some new indigenous people they never found before. Like tribal people. And they're going to be black. You know, dark color. So I don't know if it's going to be in the rainforest. Or that's something different. Because I saw the rainforest. And um, I saw some type of fire or explosion happening in, in the Gulf, the Gulf, the Gulf Ocean Sea. And um, I saw some fires in Kentucky, but I don't know what the fires are going to be about in Kentucky. And I also saw like a landslide, a mudslide in California. Uh, we're in California, I don't know, so it might be some kind of flood or something coming there. Also, so tornadoes swirling around here in America. So pray over your state. Louisiana, there's something coming to you. Something's going to hit Louisiana. It may be a tornado. Something's going to hit Louisiana. And then I also saw something happening, happening in Florida. Um... I just kept hearing, rise up, Florida. Repent, Florida. Rise up, Florida. Repent. And specifically, I heard Miami. 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 And something to do with, with Tampa. All right. And uh, then there's going to be a chemical spill somewhere. I know they just blew up trains on purpose to, to, to prevent that. But there's going to be a chemical spill somewhere here in uh america and also the oil i mean the gas is going up like god said it would but toward the end of the year the gas is going to go down tremendously and the lord told me to remind y'all that they're going to try and put uh executive orders in like i told y'all last year to try and force people to go electric but they're not going to be able to do it <laughs> it's not time for it um and i also saw um Silver and gold going up. How high? I don't know. Now, y'all remember four years ago, I saw gold going up and it shot up, right? But this time I see gold and silver. And um, thanks to the couple of people who gave a donation um, because they made some money off of the uh, Sheba Ken. Quite a few of y'all made some money because y'all emailed me, but I didn't make that much money because I, I only bought like two hundred dollars worth. So I'm be honest, all I made was like six hundred and fifty bucks <laughs> before it dropped, you know. But I ain't know what I was doing. I mean, I w I went and looked for the coin, and I got I got like two hundred bucks, and I thought I had a bunch of coins, <laughs> but obviously I didn't. But I'm grateful for the six fifty. But uh, quite a few of y'all, one person he he made eleven thousand. Then another person told me they made a hundred thousand. I mean, wow! I was, I was mad. I was like, "Daddy, I'm the one dreamt about it, and all I get is six hundred fifty dollars." He was so quiet.
say it. And it was my fault because, you know, I, I should have bought a little more, you know, but the people who made money, like the one person who made $11,000, he bought 2000 in, in, in coins. See, sister couldn't do that right now because I got bills. <laughs> I got bills and I had to help my son. You know what I mean? I had to help my son, really. And um, a family member got into a car accident and got a concussion, you know, so I, I had to dip there. You know what I mean? But I'm grateful for my little 650. Y'all know I normally don't tell y'all what kind of money I be getting, but you know, I'm just saying. But so one person said they made a hundred thousand and love and love for eleven thousand. So they bought, you know, thousands of dollars in coins. You know, so I'm glad. And they looked out for a sister, you know, and that's good. It's always good when a prophet tells you something that profits you profits your bank accounts. You should always come back and visit the prophet. You receive the prophet's reward. <laughs> All right. Um, I had I had I mean, I'm not telling y'all right now, but I seen there's like two of the coins that I seen, but I ain't open my my mouth until God tell me to. He didn't tell me to, so I'm not going to say anything, but I sure enough bought me some of them coins and I bought me a little extra this time. So when they do go up, I can make something <laughs> more than six fifty. but I'm grateful for six fifty. dollars 6 help a sister out big time. <laughs> I mean, big time, right? So when God releases the, me to tell you about the other two coins, I will do so but I can't right now. All right. So, <laughs> so God bless you all. Please pray over these prophecies and for, and for these places. I also have a word for March that, um, I'll probably say it, um, church time before we have church or just after I finish church. Cause church will be for an hour again this week. I ain't going to be staying on it three hours this time, but like church was only supposed to be for an hour. And then I was only supposed to take 30, 40 minutes to prophesy for those who, you know, sold seeds and stuff like that. And it went to three hours. We ain't having that this Sunday. So I'm going to do my preaching, then give y'all that word, or either give you the word real quick and then do the preaching <laughs> for March. All right. So I will talk to you soon. And look out for me the Thursday and Friday for coaching on the coaching channel, Prophetic Life Advice Show. All right. Much love. Shalom. I hope y'all like my picture in my hallway. <laughs>